Hello everyone and welcome back to HLB2K engineering training sessions. Uh, we continue with the construction dewatering part two. First, I would like to show you my references. Again, I'm using these two references for this presentation. And today is about the dewatering estimation for the trench excavation. You know, for long and narrow systems where the ratio of the length to width is large, a combined analytical model can be constructed. The trench excavation referred to an excavation of rectangular where the ratio of the length to width is more than 1.5. In this case, we have a linear flow from top and the bottom of this picture to the trench, but at two ends, we have radial flow towards the excavation. For the linear part, it is assumed that the flow is from a line source to a par parallel drainage trench for either confined aquifer or unconfined aquifer. As I mentioned, we have two components for the trench excavation. One is the linear flow and one is the radial flow. We start with the unconfined aquifer. For the linear flow, we can use this equation, which x is the length of the trench, k is the hydraulic conductivity meter per day. This capital H is the distance from a static water level to bottom of the aquifer. Small h is the distance from the lower water level to bottom of the aquifer, or the final water level that we intend to reach. L0 is the distance from a point of greatest drawdown to a point where there is no drawdown or zone of influence. Because it's the linear flow, we call it zone of influence instead of the radius of influence. But it has the same concept. For radial flow, we are using this equation same, almost same components here because it's radial flow, we call it radius of influence or R naught. For confined aquifer, again, we have these two components. One is the linear flow rate and second one is the radial flow through the two ends of the excavated trench. For the linear flow, we have this equation here because the aquifer thickness is constant. Now we have this B in the equation. The rest, is, the rest are similar to unconfined. And here is also for the radial flow. Equivalent radius for the trench excavation is estimated to be equal to half the width of the trench. And radius of influence or zone of influence, uh, both can be calculated using the uh, empirical relationship developed by C-chart. This is the equation, but remember hydraulic conductivity must be in meter per second. Okay, let's do one example. A purpose development is planning to install sanitary sewer underground at approximate depth of four meter. 
the monitored groundwater level shows that the highest groundwater level is at 1.5 meter below groundwater surface. The length and width of the excavations are 100 meters and 3 meters. The aquifer is confined with the saturated thickness of 4 meters. Hydraulic conductivity is estimated to be 10 to minus 5 centimeters per second. And we would like to know what the expected groundwater dewatering is to lower the groundwater level one meter below the excavation depth and what would be the radius of influence. The top of the confined aquifer is at eight meters below ground surface. Here is the configuration for this, this example. You can see the sewer is at four meter below ground. We want to lower the water level one meter below that, which is five meters. And uh, groundwater level as, is at 1.5 meter below ground surface. So it would be 11.5 meter above bottom of aquifer. The lower red groundwater level should be at seven meter above the bottom of aquifer and the saturated thickness is 4 meter. For the linear flow, uh, you should calculate QM. First, I calculated the zone of influence, which is equal to radius of influence. For that, I need the also radius, uh, equivalent radius. In our case, it's half the width which is 1.5 meters. Uh, the zone of influence would be 5.8 meters. And if we substitute everything in this equation, we end up with 5.4 cubic meters per day for the linear flow rate. For radial flow, again, substituting the Numbers in this equation, the flu estimated flow rate is 6.1 cubic meter per day. Adding these two components together, we end up with 11.5 cubic meters per day for the watering rate to lower the groundwater one meter below the bottom of excavation for this trench with 100 meters length and three meters width. Same concept that we discussed last time, we have to add a contingency factor, usually between 50% to 100%. Depends on the variability and uncertainty that we have in our input parameters. Thank you very much uh, for watching this video. My name is Kurosh Mohammadi. I'm a senior hydrogeologist with HLV2K Engineering. And if you have any comment or questions, you can write below this post. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Thank you very much.